Stores have been putting limits on beef, pork, and poultry after outbreaks for some processing plants to close. WBZ's Mike LaCross is live in Worcester tonight with the latest on that story. Mike? David, if you head down to your local supermarket, there's a good chance there'll be a limit on the amount of meat that you can buy. Customers we spoke with today say they're okay with the limits, at least for now. We don't need to like hoard. How many pounds? Eight, Eight pounds? Why? Buying limits on meat items are becoming common practice at supermarkets around Massachusetts. It's only two of each item, so like you're gonna get like two things of chicken, two things of uh, beef, uh, like two things of bacon. Costco, Stomp and Shop, and Wegmans all tell WBZ News they're staying ahead of the increased demand on the meat industry by setting limits on certain products. Here at Dorico's Market in Worcester, they're not putting a limit on the number of products. What the owner tells me, he is having a hard time getting certain meats. The filet mignons, the ribeyes, the bone-in ribeyes, the bone-in strips. Um, those, those are the tough things to get right now. Carlos de Oliveria says he's experienced the biggest change in the meat industry over the last few days. Besides not being able to get some types of meats, he's also seen suppliers increase their prices. We're just doing our best to, you know, to keep up uh, with the people coming through the door and make sure that everybody can get something. D. Oliveria says that suppliers are staying focused on getting stores the basics, like hamburger, until things get back to normal. Reporting live in Worcester, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.